Hey everybody, it's Chris Lode here, and in this screencast, I'm going to show you how you can filter your notifications on the portal so you only receive ones that are relevant to what you have signed up for. So, uh, I know many of you have hundreds, if not thousands, of notifications here, and you uh, accumulate those because you are getting notified from every uh, department in the district or um, every different um, group in the district. So if you click on this bell and you'll go all the way down to the very bottom, you'll see that you can view all notifications. And if you click on that, I am going to go over here to the left hand side and you see you can spin, I have all notifications selected. So there's all the different notifications that I um, have been receiving. But say, for instance, the school board office staff room. If I wanted to turn off all of those notifications, I could do that just by clicking on this top bell. And what will happen is that none of the notifications from the school board office staff room will uh, be sent to me and therefore won't register up here on this bell. Uh, for Richmond School District, many of the people in our uh, school board office are connected here. And so if you were to click on all of those, you would not receive news and announcements from uh, all the different various departments. Now, I might, I'm going to click on Portal Tips and News because that's one that maybe I want to have uh, come into my uh, notification center. Uh, this is also true for different classes that you're following. So if you are following different classes, like say, for instance, here, Mr. Lote's public class, um, and say, for instance, you were following uh, another teacher added you to the list, and you really didn't want to get all those notifications of for when kids were uh, posting things to the portfolio, you could just turn all of those off as well. And you can see all the different categories uh, or different sections of, this, of the class site that you can uh, filter. So you can uh, micromanage those um, depending on what you want to do. And lastly, down here, uh, at the bottom of this list, if I go down, um, these are all the different groups that I belong to. And uh, say, for instance, um, I belong to this, uh, there's a CBL project group that I uh, belong to, and I can click on that. And if I just, I just didn't want to get any of the notifications from that group, or um, say there's some things added to a shared document, and every time someone changes that shared document, I get notified. Maybe I want to see that, but I didn't want to see the news and announcements. I could just click on that one. So anyways, as you can see, you can uh, filter all of the uh, different announcements uh, to receive only the ones that you want to be notified by. And I think this will help because people are not using this notification center, don't find it useful because they are getting notifications from all different parts of the district. So you can turn those off and only leave on the ones perhaps for the group and quite likely your staff room uh, to make this a more useful feature on the portal. Hope this helps. Have a great day.